Hey guys, George with The Art of Water, and I wanted to talk to you today about Ember Tetras. Uh, several people have approached me about uh, the quality of Ember Tetras, whether or not they're hardy, whether or not they're a good community fish for a small nano tank or a planted tank. And I would tell you this, uh, yes they are. They're, they're a good fish for that environment, but there's certain things that you're going to need to do before you're going to be successful in keeping this particular breed. Number one, they're a little bit shy. Ember tetras, when they're introduced to a tank, sometimes uh, will hide for several days. Uh, when I first introduced the eight that I have in this small tank, uh, they're very, very small, young ember tetras. In fact, they don't even have their full coloring yet. But uh, I had eight of them in here and woke up the next morning and only had six and did not find for almost four days um, the other, the other uh, uh, fish. They went missing. I thought they died. I didn't find them anywhere in the tank, but of course my tank is heavily planted. It, you know, it could have happened anywhere. Then within a day or so after that, they all showed up. Now, ember tetras are not schoolers, they're more like shoulders. They do not school in the traditional sense. They do like the mid-side of, mid of the tank. They don't like uh, to feed off the bottom. They don't like to feed off the top. They will go up the top for food when you're feeding them. They're pretty aggressive feeders, but um, they are not uh, really schoolers in the traditional sense. They shoal, and that's about it. The other thing I want to talk to you about is if you're running CO2 and you're putting Ember Tetras in your tank, you probably want to turn your CO2 off the first day or two while you are uh, getting these uh, fish adapted to their new environment. Uh, I say that because I have gone through several situations where uh, I have lost some fish because I wasn't smart enough to turn the CO2 off. Now, of course, I learned that early on, and I don't allow that to happen anymore. But it can happen, and uh, so I just recommend that you either turn it off completely or you dial it way, way, way back until these guys are able to uh, adapt to the new environment. Now, like I said... If you can turn it off completely, I would do that. Your plants are not gonna suffer for a day or two if uh, they don't have the CO2. They're not dependent on it. Uh, of course, you know, we want our plants to stay healthy and that sort of thing, but uh, the bottom line is, is dialing that back, it's not gonna hurt it. There can be some fluctuations in pH. Uh, people have asked me whether Ember Tetras are sensitive to pH and I would say no they're not they can adjust to pretty much anything that's within a reasonable range um, they can adjust to some acidity there, there's a pretty hardy fish the one thing I would say is that the biggest mistake that people make is they don't have enough places for these guys to hide when they first are introduced to a tank I recommend that you have a planted tank that's fairly heavily planted to make sure that these guys have a place to to hide and uh, do their thing and uh, they'll come out and come around. I found that out as I said last week when I was dealing with these fish by myself and uh, I learned that uh, you know within a few days they just sort of show up. Now you know there are times that fish will die. Uh, they don't adapt well but if you've got good water parameters, good quality uh, uh, water, you're doing good water changes, like I always say, 50% twice a week if you can, uh, in, in a tank, uh, especially a nano tank where things can go wrong very quickly. Uh, the other thing that I would say is that if you are um, worried about uh, whether or not you should get Ember Tetras, I would talk to your local guy and find out where he gets them from. If he gets them from a good breeder, somebody who he's reliable, uh, is reliable, I should say, and uh, he knows the quality of these fish because your losses are going to be based on the quality of the fish themselves. So don't be afraid to get Ember Tetras. They're a little bit difficult at first. They're a little scary because uh, People who have not been in the uh, aquarium 
uh, business for a long time will see that they're hiding, can't find them in their heavily planted tank, and they're going to think right away that they've lost them. So again, uh, they will typically show up. If they don't show up in a week, you probably have lost some. And uh, if you're running uh, some shrimp in your tank and some other uh, bottom feeders, uh, which I have about four uh, blue velvet shrimp in here that keep the algae, I don't have an algae problem, but they keep anything on the leaves that starts to grow at all at bay and uh, if you do have a fish that dies don't worry about ripping your tank apart make sure you're doing the water changes and the the shrimp will take care of uh, making sure that uh, the uh, dead fish is consumed and uh, um, it'll ju it'll just pretty much just go away anyways this is george with the art of water don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give me a thumbs up at the bottom there thanks for all the new uh, subscribers thanks for all the people that have visited my new uh, facebook page i uh, i'm looking forward to talking to you again soon got some great things coming up here in the weeks and months to come some new uh, builds uh, going on some big builds going on uh, i know i'm known for my nano tanks but uh Got a 500 gallon that we're going to be doing here at a friend's house. It's uh, coming back from Italy shortly, and we're going to get going on that. The tank's already in, and I'm just waiting for him to get home from uh, his trip. And we're going to start that build, and that should be a lot of fun. Anyways, this is George with the Art of Water, and uh, enjoy yourself. Remember that uh, this is an art just like anything else of. Uh, uh, aquascaping and uh, keeping fish and knowing what to do and I uh, hope you enjoy uh, what you're doing and if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask just ask me in the comments section and I'll answer them as best I can George with the art of water talk to you later mm -hmm.